I did not have a childhood. I did not have a normal youth. I did not. I did not even have the uh, luxury of like teenage rebellion or that. So like like my my growing up experience was kind of disruptive. Well, the Cultural Revolution came to us was kind of unprepared and also as a child you did not know what's going on, right? During the 1966-67, Mao received millions of red cards from Tiananmen and my cousin sister, she was one of those and that was a big honor given that you know, we live in the far south of China. So we only knew that she suddenly left home and she did not come home and she did not want to talk to us. You know, she was the revolutionary. She was the red guard. For my dad, in the beginning, I remember at that time, my dad was the head of a very big construction company. And then we remember seeing all those posters hanging on the wall. So all the walls were have posters and with my dad's name, you know, big name and then with red crosses. Some of the workers even say, uh, uh, tease us, he said, um, look at this, it's done with Zhou Leiming, done with your dad. And my, I remember my brother was saying, oh, no, 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 not done with, it's burned. <laughs> So, because he did not, uh, at that time he was eight years old, he did not understand what that is. And my father was sent to a labor camp. My mom's camp is called the May 7 cadre school, right? So to send cadres for re-education. I remember going to my mom's camp, but not my father's. My father's was totally separate. So he only came home like once a year for eight years. My mom was raising pigs and, and chickens and geese. So we enjoy being with the animals without knowing, you know, the, the hardship of the parents. I also remember watching the Red Guards going into homes of the uh, entrepreneurs, right? The owners of businesses and, and try to find things that are old and traditional and put all these things in the courtyard or in front of the door and burn them. And then in the schools and also in public spaces, the Red Guards would pull the teachers, especially the school administrators, for public uh, criticism. So it was a whole movement. Well, everything, there is positive and negative effect. Overall, the Cultural Revolution is socially destructive, right? But the positive effect of it is for people to remember the destructive power, the destructive effect of bad leadership. Like if it had not been for the Cultural Revolution, I would not be as tough as I was. The thing is that during that time, you did not realize it was a hardship because everybody was like that, right? So you just live through it and tough it out. So that's why I'm not bitter about this experience at all.